Everyone, my name is Python GB, and welcome back to the 30th episode of my Python Place Terraria Let's Play. In the previous episode, we completely failed to uh, do the simple job of surviving against the Martian event, which means we're probably not going to be doing that again for just a little while. I'm probably going to do the Frost Moon and the Pumpkin Moon both before I do that again. So, in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, I actually want to do something rather different to start out with. We're going to grab some Platinum Bars, and we are going to grab some Rubies, because I learned this technique from watching... Uh, uh, Pedgrid streams and basically what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a bunch of uh, Platinum crowns or gold crowns. Oh, they only take one ruby as well. Oh, wow I'm pretty sure they used to take up multiple rubies Awesome, but basically what's gonna happen is we are going to go to a variety of different biomes underground including the hallow and the the underground crimson and we are going to farm out king slimes in order to get ourselves a whole bunch of of awesome souls because obviously that's what we need in order to uh, progress on for the most part so let's go ahead and put these uh, ingots away again so still got plenty of stuff to go actually <laughs> i'm actually really surprised they i swear it used to take more than one ruby for the recipe but anyway it doesn't matter a great deal uh potion ingredients we're obviously going to need some more gel this is going to wipe us out of gel pretty much uh well that's on the basis that this still takes what is it uh 99 gel per thing so we are going to do five King Slime fights in the Underground Crimson Biome, and then we're also going to go ahead and do five King Slime fights in the Underground Hallowed Biomes. Again, just so we can get ourselves a bunch of souls. Maybe we can defeat a few more uh, Crimson slash Hallowed Mimics. Maybe get the Fetid Bagnax. Those would be freaking awesome, my friends. They really would be, because they are just the most insane things in the entire world. They really are. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Werewolf. How you doing, brother? <laughs> My little UFO buddy's doing his job. Thanks, bud. Ah, sweet. Okay, so... Yep, we still have a Crimson Altar, which is cool. So, oh, there's my little fishing platform, which I haven't used in a long time. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, oh, this is blooming. So I'm getting Deathweed seed from this as well. Nice. I'm okay with this. I can make a Deathweed farm now. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and see just how good this uh, laser drill is. Uh... Seems to be reasonable. What's the stats on it? I've got a superior one, which unfortunately doesn't mean it's got any more speed. Uh, fast speed, I'm pretty sure my pixel are very fast speed. But this, look at that, has plus 10 range. Plus 10 range? That's just crazy right there. That really is. Oh, hey there, bud. How you doing, man? Go on, Mr. UFO. Do your job, brother. There we go, buddy. All right, here we go. Uh, slime crowns. There we go. Oh, it only takes 20 gel now? Swear it used to take 99. But, uh, oh well, I'm not going to complain about it. Right, I'll tell you what, for the maximum efficiency slash effectiveness, we're actually going to go to the underground snow crimson biome, because then, who knows, we might have a very, very slight chance of getting the uh, crimson or ice keys. Both of them would be very nice, of course. Obviously, the crimson one would give us the vampire knives, which is basically a very cool lifesteal weapon. It's very, very nice indeed. But, uh, yeah, we need to go ahead and make our way down to the biome. So, I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty guys, so we're now in the underground crimson ice biome, so without further ado, we are going to be defeating five king slimes down here. Obviously we can't do them at the same time, because, uh, you know, the mechanics don't allow us to do that, unfortunately. So here we go, numero one! Alright brothers, come on then, let's uh, let's chuck a couple of the- oh, 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 hi, hi, how you doing brother? Hey buddy! Hey! Hey! Uh, oh, is that it? Huh? Well that was certainly interesting. What the hell was that? There's like these weird little cake things that drops. Interesting. All right, so we've got seven souls of night. I uh, don't imagine that was all from that single fight, but uh, pretty decent. All right, next one. There's an ammo up down there. How cool is that? All right, peeps. Morning. I am waiting to see you die. Oh, he's dead again. God damn it. <laughs> hmm. I think what I need to do is I need to purposely not kill him, like... At the first instance, because if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to farm out many souls now, am I? So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my UFO dude do all the uh, do all the stuff for this one. Go on, Mr. UFO dude, get all your stuff done and such. Go on, I want you to spawn a bunch of slimes. There we go. That'd be cool. <laughs> Look at the UFO dude, he's going to work. <laughs> That's cool, dude. I like this. There we go. Yeah, keep it going, brother. Keep it going. There we go. The more souls we can get, the better. Hmm. Come on, then. Hmm. 
Oh no, this guy is almost dead. Oh, this is terrible. What a shame. Oh no, he's died. Oh god, no, this is terrible. What the hell? That was so difficult, dude. That was really, really difficult, man. Let me tie it. Okay. And there we go. Let's get out of here. So two more. Oh, we've got 12 souls a night. This isn't this isn't actually as effective as I thought it was, but I think it's because I'm very, very overpowered. So uh I don't know, maybe maybe I can use something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to use. Maybe an ammo rock. Maybe I should get rid of the UFO, dude. I purposely want him to spawn like a whole bunch of slimes, so yeah, all that kind of stuff. Come on then. You even trying, bro? Do 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 do. Oh no, they're all dead again. <laughs> I love doing that, man. It's so satisfying. I hate that. What are you doing, man? Oh, Soul of night from there. There's this guy again. God damn it, two thousand health. You really think that's not a lot, is it? Let's be honest. Maybe I should defeat another boss which has like multiple segments. Hey, yeah. Like I hit him one time and he's already lost like a tenth of his health. <laughs> that's that's quite amusing, actually. That is very amusing. Hi. Hmm. I think Ped was on expert mode when he uh, did this farming method, so maybe maybe that's why it's not working too well against me. So yeah, I mean I'm not I'm okay with it. It's okay. Do 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 do. I mean I can still get a few souls out of it, I guess. All right, that guy's dead again. There we go. Oh, that, okay. Nice amount of souls from that one. Nice amount of souls indeed. Oh, look, there's a slime hook down there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, what else have we got? A slime saddle. Eh, all right, I'm going to chuck some crap away, basically. So, slime gun. That doesn't really sell for anything. Uh, banners. We've got lo lo loads of them. Uh, aside from that, I think that's everything, pretty much. Okay, well, we didn't get a key from that, which is unfortunate, but we did get 19 souls of night, which I guess is okay. So, yeah. Alright. And then, oh god, I quick stacked a whole bunch of stuff away. Oh man. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to uh, sell a bunch of things. Good lord. Hey, buddy. Let's sell some stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Goblin army. Oh, wait. This is the first goblin army, isn't it? First goblin army in hard mode, anyway. Interesting. Interesting. I am a big fan of that. Okay, right. So we didn't get anything from that. So I guess we're gonna go to the underground hallow, see if we can't get some souls of light. That would be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get over there, my friends. Alrighty, guys. Here we go inside of the underground desert hallowed thing area of thinginess. Uh, oh, hello. What are you doing down here? The goblin army gonna spawn down here? No? If I can get the Goblin Army to spawn down here, that'd be pretty freaking sweet, because then we could farm out some souls from there as well. I wonder. I wonder if we could actually do that. Right, okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to head back down. We need to grab ourselves some souls of light. So we're going to head further, further down. Well, a lot further down, actually. Until we could start getting the uh, good old souls. That's what I'm on about. That's what I want. So, I don't know, maybe this will do the job. Just, just down here. Hello? Okay, let's uh, let's give it a go, man. Let's give it a go. Here we go, Mr. Slimeball. You can't take me down. Right, any souls of light from that at all? No, we're not deep enough. God damn it. Okay, we need to go a fair further distance down, apparently. So let's just uh, let's just dig down, I guess, until we get to the main underground hollow. So yeah, let's do that. Alright guys, here we are in the main underground hallow biome. We're outside of the desert now, so I don't know, maybe we can actually get some cool things going. Okay. Do 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 380 damage. Wow. Right. Ah, come on. Do do alright, that guy's dead, so let's see if we can get some souls. Yeah, there we go. Now we're getting souls. That is good stuff, man. That is very good stuff indeed. Got a goodie bag from that guy as well. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I can also see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's actually a harp container down there. But I don't really think I'm going to need it in all actuality. So, yeah, let's just carry on farming these guys, shall we? Do, 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 do. Haboom. Haboom. Here we go. <laughs> Easy money. Seven souls of light. Wow. That's pretty decent, man. Got a pretty decent amount of stuff from that one. Holy crap, look at that. 14 souls of light now. Very, very good. Maybe what we need to do is just set one cloud down. Hello, maybe this will do a decent sort of damage. I mean, I'm not doing anything right now. 
But the more I damage him, the more he spawns some of his little slimes. So I feel like this might be the best idea to go with, you know. Or maybe what I should actually do is go ahead and uh, grab some weapons that are purposely not very powerful so we can actually get this thing going. Look at that, 23 souls of, uh, souls of light now. Cool, cool, cool. Right, let's go one more time with this guy. All right, Mr. Cloud, get on with your job, buddy. Do do. <laughs> Uh, I could sit here and do this for ages, man. I'm really good. Farming the king slime. Not so king-like now, are you, bud? <laughs> there's a hallowed mimic nearby. Hey, look at this, man. There's a, there's a hallowed mimic nearby. I need to find that guy. Oh, hallowed mimic. Hello. I wonder where he is. I wonder where he is. I cannot see him. Do I have any danger potions? No, I don't. I must find this guy, man. Because he might have something. No, 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 no. Just back this way. Back this way. Hallowed Mimic is somewhere over here. Hello? Hallowed Mimic? Are you around here, buddy? No. I wish to find you and kill you. Wait, no. That's a regular Mimic. Wait, it says there's a, a regular Mimic and a Hallowed Mimic? This is interesting. Interesting developments here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, right, let's try and find this guy, shall we? There he is, bottom right. You see him over there, man? That little guy. He thinks he can hide from us. What a stupid son of a gun. Hey, buddy. I wish to kill you and see what other weapons you can give me. Oh, oh apparently I hit him. Uh, Alright, Tower Blade, this is where you come in, buddy. Do 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 do. Go on in, put some effort into it. Put your back into it. Right, there we go. What did I get? Uh, oh, another flying knife. Oh, this is so great. I really didn't need that, actually. Eh, oh, well. Uh, healing potions. Yep, that's always appreciated. All right, sweet. Okay, so I think what we'll do now is we'll head back to base and we're going to fight one of each of these biome chest mimics at the same time. That sounds like fun. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got these uh, goblins to fight as well, haven't I? Well, oh, well, we could do them both at the same time, can't we? Because I'm slightly mad. <laughs> hey, look at this. The amount of souls of light we have. Holy crap, that's a lot. Hey, dudes. Hey. Who are you, like, just fell into the water? Like, absolutely at the same time? That's kind of creepy, actually. Right, okay, we're going to make one of these and one of these. We are going to go to the flat area over here, and we are going to place down two chests. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Hello. Hi. Uh, get spawned. Get spawned. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is where the fun starts. I like this. Ah, the craziness ensues. God. I... Oh, wait, wait, whoa. I got a life drain. What is that? I got another day to the storm bow as well. Damn it, man. Still no sign of any fetid bag knacks. Oh, hey, it's one of them guys. Those guys are brand new to the 1.3 uh, hard mode. Uh, what's it called? The goblin invasion. It's like a, a summoner kind of guy. He's kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure he has like several thousand health or something like that. But uh, sometimes he does drop some very, very cool weapons. And if we can get some today, I mean, that would that would certainly be pretty cool. You know, I'm certainly, uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be mad if I don't get any, if I do get weapons, shall I say. I'll be mad if I don't get weapons. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay. Hey, peeps. Oh, here we go. Look at him. What's he called? Yeah, Goblin Summoner. How much health? 2,000. So, on expert mode, he's probably going to have something like 4,000, maybe 6,000 health. So, yeah. Oh, what's that? A Shadow Flame Hex doll? 47 magic damage. Whoa. This doesn't... Whoa. That is... That's kind of cool, actually. Wow. Shadow Flame Hex doll. Maybe we should get some uh, Spectre armor going, you know? Try and get some sort of mini mage setup going. Maybe we need to do some farming in the dungeon, eh? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've already got the Chlorophyte bars needed uh, in order to go ahead and make the Spectre armor, so I don't know, it might be cool to do that at some point. It will, of course, be the offensive, so yeah. Wait, really? There's only two of them uh, summoner dudes? That's it? Well done. 
Right, I'll tell you what, while we're going ahead and uh, organise our inventory, we can jump into the question of the video. And for today, that comes from a user by the name of J Brendan Iverson. And his question is, what is your favourite solar eclipse mob? By a clear mile, that would no doubt have to be Mothron, because Mothron is the most fun. He is basically like a mini-boss within the solar eclipse. He has, a, he has quite a few cool attack mechanics, like giving birth to smaller, little baby sort of... Moth ones, which is kind of cool, and not only that, but he also drops some very, very cool things as well, like the uh, like the broken hero swords. You know, you got the you got the moth one wings, and of course the uh, I've got Thulo yo yo. They're all very, very cool things to have, man. They really are. Wow, we've got mythical life drain. So we've got the best kind. God damn. Wow. These two are pretty dang cool. Eh. I'm okay with this, man. All right, uh, Daedalus Stormbite. That's already been quick stacked somewhere. Let's open these up. <laughs> Robot costume, lol. Wow, look at all the costumes we have now. I'm gonna have to make an entirely new area for these blooming things. Right, I'll tell you what, let's put a shadow chest. Uh, where should we put a shadow chest? Let's put it right here. I'm gonna put all the uh, costumes in here. So, Robot. Space creature. Reaper. Ooh. Pumpkin. Kind of strange, but oh well. And we've got a Goblin Archer banner as well. Oh my god, we've got so many things. Good lord. But yeah, guys, my question of the video to you guys is going to be passed on. What is your favourite uh, 1.3 solo clips mob? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you have any suggestions for the question of the video, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And then I'll have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out. Hmm. Right. What are we thinking now? I really, really, really want to farm out some... Uh, Hmm. Brains of Cthulhu. We could farm out Brains of Cthulhu. That could be a cool idea, actually. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna make some. Uh, we're gonna make some bloody spines, and then we are going to go once again to the underground crimson, defeat a couple of Brain of Cthulhu's because obviously those little flying creeper dudes. Uh, they kind of class as mobs, don't they? So. You should be able to farm them out and get a whole bunch of souls that way as well. Because I really, really want to get the fetid bag next. We are yet to have them yet, which really does suck. And I am determined to get them. So, yeah. I'm going to meet you guys by the demon altar so we can make these things. Oh, I said demon altar, didn't I? I meant, uh, I meant this thing. Wait, what? I can't make them? Okay. Um... Has the recipe changed? It used to be just 15 uh, vertebrae, wasn't it? Let's have a look really quick. Uh, mechanical worm, no, bloody spine. Oh, you need vicious powder? Banishes the hallow. Vicious powder, vicious powder. Uh, do we have anything in here? No, do we have anything in here? No. Do we need vicious mo Oh, you know what? It's it's basically like the, uh, the Eater of Worlds equivalent, isn't it? You've got like... Uh, Oh, uh, was it? Oh, what are they called? Some something mushrooms. You got like purple mushrooms. I can't remember what they're called. But you now have red mushrooms as well. God damn it! All right, I'm gonna have to go farm some of them out now instead, won't I? Oh dear. All right, back in a sec, folks. Oh yeah, now's the time to give me a blooming blood moon, you jerk. I don't need it right now, dude. I'm trying to do many many things that don't involve you, and you just come ahead and think that I want to defeat you guys. Well, you'd be quite wrong. There we go. Vicious mushrooms. There they are. That's what we're after. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same as the uh, the corruption equivalent in that we need six because they give five powder per time. So let's just go ahead and see if we can't grab some. Okay. And of course, the death wheat once again is blooming. So that's cool. <laughs> All right. So let's farm some of these things out. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Well, there appears to be a, a, a... What is this? A pumpkin slime? <laughs> I've not seen that before. That was obviously part of the uh, seasonal event. <laughs> Interesting. I like that, man. That's kind of funny. I like that a lot. Here we go, my friends. Got ourselves some vicious powder. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the crimson in this world is actually in the desert or in the jungle. So there's actually not a great deal of crimson grass around. And as a result, there actually wasn't a great deal of, uh, you know, vicious mushrooms around. And that really does suck. So I think one project we may have to start soon is, uh, is sort of biome boxes or something. I don't know. It's some sort of 
some sort of artificial biome project, basically. Alright, so we can only make one of these, which I guess, you know, again, really does suck, because I was really hoping we'd be able to do uh, a little bit more than just one Brain of Cthulhu fight, but oh well, doesn't matter a great deal. We're going to go back to the underground snow crimson biome, and we're going to get on with this thing. Alright guys, here we go with the Brain of Cthulhu fight. It doesn't really matter how quickly we defeat him this time, because obviously he doesn't spawn anything. So, Mr. Dude, come down here. Come on then, where's all your creeper brethren dudes? What the hell? Oh, there they are. Kill them all! Yeah! Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. All oh, right. So, apparently those little creeper dudes don't count as mobs, therefore you don't get souls of night from them. Well, thanks. Thanks a god diggity damn lot. Oh man. Well, uh, you can't have everything in the world, can you? Right, I'll tell you what. In one desperate final attempt, we're going to wait until one spawns in down here, perhaps. Alright, back in a moment. Ah, oh, yeah. Farming all the crimson mobs like a true pro. Oh, I see you down there. Come on, man. Come on. Fetic back next. This is what we're after. Will we get it? Yes or no? I have not got a good feeling about it. Uh, yeah, we didn't. We got Flesh Knuckles is dead. Uh, <laughs> why, game? Why? All I want is one thing. Why can you not just give me one thing? Hmm? Why is that not a thing you can do? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not done yet, man. I, st I still want the blooming Fetty Backnacks and I want them now. God damn it. There's a crimson mimic to the top left. Can you guys see that? Because I can just about see it. Can I just say, the blooming rare creature detector is like one of the best things in this game. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. Uh, here we go. Open that up. Okay, and let hell break loose. Right, okay, what did he drop? A dart pistol. Still not what we're looking for, but the good news is we've got 15 souls of night, so we can actually go ahead and uh, go ahead and farm one more out of the surface. That would be a good idea. Obviously, once I kill these guys, I would like to pick up that dark pistol. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, heading back to base. Chuck that away. Let's grab ourselves. Let's just quick stack a bunch of stuff. There we go. Furniture. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's have one of them. Let's grab the Souls of Night back out. Let's go back over to the crafting table. And this will be the final one we do. Because I really, really am running out of time to record for today. So, yeah. All right. Oh, let's get over there, shall we? And let's get this thing rolling. Rolling, rolling. All right, buddy. In you go. Oh, let's be honest. Are you actually going to give us a fetid bag next? Because I don't think you will, in all honesty. In fact, I was completely correct. How many Crimson Mimics have we now taken down, man? Like, for real? <sighs> we've got nothing but... Well, we've got everything but what we're actually looking for. Uh, this game really knows how to make a man happy, doesn't it? Oh, good lord. Anyways, guys, I think on that note, it's time to win the episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like rating, my friends. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. We're going to go ahead and go farming inside of the dungeon in the next episode. So, hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But, yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.